I will carry 17 grocery bags or die before I make a second trip. Today, I want to dive right into this video. I realized looking at all of my Dollar Tree Valentine's Day stuff that all of this just kind of deserved to be in one collective video. I want to share with you my favorite things, which, you know, let's face it, pretty much it's almost everything I haul from Dollar Tree, but a lot of this stuff are things that you probably won't see again. So let's go ahead and dive into this video. So the first thing that I want to share with you, I'm going to reach down here, oh, that pile went. The first thing um, are the tote bags for Valentine's Day. I've been hauling these here and there, so now it's all in one video. I'm obsessed with this print with the typewriter, the love note thing, it's super cute. You have the puppy love one. This is all 2020 stuff, and this is my newest one the drive me crazy and then i want to show you a pattern that i think was either last year 2019 or 2018 that we won't see again and it's this one right here you can see they did the same thing with the black handle and the black side but isn't this pattern so beautiful with the camera and the love notes mason jar yeah i really really love their tote bags i have some like little things in there that i store Okay, next up, I want to share with you some of their decorative boxes. I love these two. I think they are, sorry I'm not in frame. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy my non-edited videos, but I'm going to try to do some editing because I'll have to get up and reach for other things. But, so these decorative boxes are some of my favorite finds. When they first started doing these, I remember being very wowed by this and they do it for pretty much every season and holiday so you have the these are the new ones for 2020 by the way that was in a recent video and these are some older ones that they did not do this year that's why whenever I see new stuff at Dollar Tree I like to scoop it up because they'll always end up changing the pattern they rarely bring back the same things. I mean, there are staples and you'll see some of that throughout this haul, but I mean, this happy Valentine's Day in this cute color. I mean, I didn't see that this year. Oh, last year, by the way, see the little candy hearts, how they, it looks like a sugar cookie. That was like the theme ish last year. And then here is this option, a little bit more mature. You could probably gift this, you know, to a boyfriend or a husband. And then they have, the, they did a B one again last year, B mine. But just to give you a comparison so that we can see the Bs, because the Bs look completely different. So there's that comparison there. All right, so I love those, and I'm really happy that overall they are still bringing the concept of these little boxes. So love that. Okay, then. I don't have, <coughs> why I edit? I keep saying that, don't I? I don't know, it just comes out. The little tin boxes are really cute. They do this also for Christmas. I don't know if they did this for Halloween or not, um, but I love these little containers. These are from 2020 this year. I really love the hot air balloon. I'm hoping that's gonna be like this year's theme, but I haven't seen too much stuff with it. I feel like they're doing um, a variety of options, which is great too. I mean, a variety is great because not everyone is going to love the same print. Okay, next up, also recently new, something they've never done before in the past that I just is a favorite of mine. I can't wait to dive in and start using these, but they are custom fortune cookies. You can make your own fortune, slip them inside and how cool is that, right? And then they packaged it up. One has a set of white, one has a set of pink, and both have the set of red. So I loved that find. I was super shocked over that. Here's another one that is new this year that I think is completely worth the grab because you can do so much with these. Um, this can be, um, you know, I made garland out of it in my living room decorate with me if you didn't see that video. 
yeah, I turned this into garland. It was super, super cute. You can use these to fill up candies and put it in gift bags and for even like more decor. So I love, love these hearts. You can just kind of see how thick they are. So this is a staple item that I was referring to earlier that just keeps coming back and I'm really glad that they do because this is one of those items where I, I agree that it should continue to come back because there are so many things that you can do with these florals, gifts, gift toppers. Uh, I'm also gonna show you some of my favorite Valentine's DIYs that I've done and you'll see these consistently through them. So you'll be able to see um, at the end of this video how I've used those for DIYs. So I absolutely love those. Then diving into some little random bits and bobbles. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also losing my voice, can you tell? Sorry about that. Um, here is the love decor. They made these, and this was a couple years ago. They made these in four options, the silver, the gold, a pink and a red but the pink and red are in my living room so if you go watch that decorate with me you'll see how I used those but I love these like look how cute that is for a dollar that's just I love that all right here's some more little random pieces of decor as well and the third one that I found is also in my living room in the decor but aren't these amazing for a dollar I love this one too very farmhouse or French country, which I recently just decorated my bedroom for. I think this would look cute in here too. I might pop this in my room. So anyway, these are also a great, one of my favorites for Valentine's Day. This one's new. I, I was over the moon over this. I don't know why. I just love that faux chalk. I mean, it's not faux. You can actually write on it, but it's like a chalkboard type paint. That you can write on top of so I loved this find this year this is new I don't think I've ever seen them do this specific shape style all that stuff okay let me grab from this one so ribbon is something they do consistently every single year another one of those staples but this year's ribbon by far is my absolute favorite they are so good. They look like Hobby Lobby Michaels ribbons because sometimes their ribbons can look like they came out of Dollar Tree, not these to me. Now where you're going to see a difference between Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby is how much ribbon you get in here, right? So you're just not going to get very much in these for a dollar, but the prints are gorgeous and I mean just look at this one. It's just gorgeous. I don't know why they've cap captivated me this year, but they did. Something I haven't seen them put out yet, but Dollar Tree does this thing where they don't just do one stock and put everything out. They constantly stock every single week and you'll constantly see new things sneak in. This is something that they did last year, but I haven't seen it again this year. So I'm curious to find out if they're going to or if some of you have seen it at your stores but it's like the heart marquee sign. You just put in a battery and it turns on. I don't have any batteries in here. But this is a wow piece for me for a dollar too. All right, then are the heart baskets. This is an older one but I feel like they still have this out till this day. It's in the shape of a heart and it has um, hearts cut out there. Uh, I think they also make this in a red option, maybe even other colors, but I absolutely love these little gift baskets. They're so gorgeous, shocking for a dollar. I know I keep saying that, but I really do think that that's shocking. And then this is another item that is or has been a staple. I think they did it again this year too, and it's just the table scatter of hearts. They also make it in red as well. If I had to tell you guys which container or an item that you could use to pack a gift in, these are my number one favorites. I don't really know why, but they are just so adorable, small, compact. You can do candies in here, you know, gift cards, some lip balms, like all a bunch of, a, a lot of little cute items can fit in here. I love the pink, 
with the pink lid, the handle matches. These are the best items, the best steal for a dollar in my opinion. So obsessed with those. Now I wanna show you some of the hearts that Dollar Tree has put out. And it's interesting because there's been different color variations and it's these foam hearts. And you can see the three different color options that they've done in the past years. This one right here, I haven't seen them put out this year. So I don't know if this purpley pink is gonna come back or not, but I've seen these two. And they are hanging decors, you could hang them up. It would be really cute to actually like do threes. I don't know why I always think of doing things in threes, but that would be really cute on a wall, on a door, as a wreath. It's also very trendy and to do like three wreaths on a front door. I don't know, has anyone else seen that? Like stacking more in, in a vertical way too? Very interesting. Okay, let's move on to more decor. Ta-da! Who remembers these? These are older ones as well. I don't know if they're 2019 or not, but they were not, they're not 2020. That's not to say these won't be available, but I picked these up last year or the year before. Probably last year actually, yeah. And I don't even remember if they were put out at the same time as Valentine's Day. I feel like I found them in a different aisle, not with the holiday stuff, um, but my memory is garbage. So I'm sorry that I can't remember that, but XOXO and love. Very Valentine's Day, you could DIY this if black isn't your color, you could definitely paint this and they give you a method to hang them, hang them up on the wall. Okay, what do I show you next? Let's get into some glassware. <coughs> okay, this is an oldie but goodie. Did, have I already said that already in this video? But I love these glass glasses and they've never put these out again since I first bought these and these are old. I've had these, oh my gosh. I think I've, I wanna say I've had them longer than five years. And I'm so glad that I have them in my collection. They're just too good to get rid of. They, I've done some really cute Valentine's Day tablescapes with these in the past and it's just the glassware with the red lips on them. So unfortunately, I have never seen them again, but they are my favorite. All right, then I believe last year, they did these like candle votives or whatever, candle, whatever you call them. You can see they're frosted, pink, white, and red, and they have the heart. I have not seen them do this combination this year, but Again, it's not to say that they won't. Um, what I have seen them do this year is more of this XO, XO factor. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm obviously, you know, holding it the wrong way, but you kind of get the gist here. That is very new, very different. The inside has like a purpley effect. So that's interesting. And then they have also done the heart. But you can see the difference here is that these are metallic and these are frosted. And the heart shape is different. Yeah, everything is same concept, different design. While we're here, since I was holding some of the things, here's another great basket. This is new this year, 2020. I love this basket. It's that's why it's in this video, because it's just so gorgeous. I love the laser cutout, it's so pretty. You would not think that it came from Dollar Tree, in my humble opinion. All right, so let me get these put down. The next thing that's a favorite of mine is also new, and it is the 2020 Valentine's Day window clinks. There are more that are out there, but this one is a favorite, so I just wanted to include this one. There's that hot air balloon again, and then we are still consistently seeing that red truck everywhere and the bicycle too is another favorite image of mine the truck the bicycle and the hot air balloon really just it gets me and then speaking of the truck they did these two options this year they, i don't think they did a red truck last year i feel like they were just starting the the truck thing um in 2019 i don't know i, I just don't remember this being an option for valentine's day so I really think they started going in hard after that. But love it, love those two signs. 
hope that you guys find them this year if you love them too. Here's another great sign from this year, 2020. It's just the felt and then the burlap look to it. So incredibly lovely. You get the option to hang them. Like, I just can't believe this is a dollar. What the heck? Yeah, so I absolutely love those. And then here are some more, uh, some of my favorite signs. I wanted to definitely share the heart shape the do-it-yourself decor is funny because that's what this tag says, do-it-yourself. And this was last year's. So this was 2019 and this is 2018. You can see the difference. You get less hang, like less ribbon or twine to hang with. And this was ribbon and this was twine. So this year, last year's. Heart seems about the same. Yeah, they're stocking up the exact same. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference there, but I love those two because, I mean, it's like a blank canvas, you know, you can do so much with it. Here's another great sign. I feel like some of you also have this one in your collection. It's gorgeous. I don't know if they're doing it again this year or not. I can't remember if I saw it this year, but this I did pick up last year and it has that faux chalkboard. This one is faux. Um, yeah, this one, is my favorite sign probably of all time. I think that it's simple, but gorgeous, and it's a dollar. Like that just blows my mind. The galvanized hearts get gets me, and then the, the pop of red is really beautiful, which is glitter. Yeah, this one's my favorite ever of all time. I've already said that. Then these are the new signs for 2020. There's that bicycle and the car. I'm not a fan of the ribbon choice, but I can easily rectify that and change it myself. And the font on this one is perfect. This one's a little bizarre because it's not the same size. Like, do you see how they're all different sizes? I, I didn't understand that, but overall really cute. But I could get, always get rid of that. I could always just like paint over that and do something else if I wanted to. Oops, sorry. I just moved y'all. Okay, this one, I feel like this one is still available this year, but it's so good. This one is a chalkboard. You could definitely write on here. You could do a countdown. You could write little like morning love notes, you know, for someone, you know how people like take lipstick and they write on a mirror, like you, that kind of thing, or like a post-it note. You could do something very similar with this for Valentine's Day. Yeah, isn't that cute? I love that sign. All right, now I'm gonna grab for, okay, this is, we're really getting into some of my favorite stuff. Here are the memo books and pens. I actually hauled multiples of these and I've used the other ones. So these are the ones that I still have as a backup. I think these are fantastic, especially this one. The kisses get me, love that. I love their frosted loot bags. And I remember this print being, I was, I remember when I first hauled this and loving it so, so much. I love all the pastel hearts on here. I love that they did a navy. I thought that was really, is special the word? I thought it was very unique. And I was, yeah, so I love that. So I got multiples of those too. And then, hang on, did I get all of them? Yeah, okay. So then there are the treat bags. Treat bags they do all the time, but then they'll always change up the, the pattern. So let me show you last year's. Here was the sweets. They did a very big sweets theme last year. So the donuts, Ziploc bag, and then here is this year's. You can just see the difference. There's not a sweets theme this year at all, whatsoever. Puppies, bees, hot air balloons, just, yeah. Not really so much of a cohesive collection like they did last year. And then we have all of the handmade cards. Now, some of these are from last year, and then I have a whole bag. Look how many I have, this is insane. So I'll just kind of quickly go through them. I have to say, that last year's are definitely my favorite. Love it. This has like a, a rain check 
or ticket type thing, you know, you they can cash in their ticket, whatever. Here's the bicycle, love that. You are loved, love these. Oh, I remember these two, obsessed. I bought so many dupes of these and I'm really glad I did. Yeah, I definitely prefer last year's cards for sure. So cute, love that they did a conversations heart. I, I wasn't a fan of like the one that stuck out, but it's okay. Here is this, op these options. And the puppy was really cute. They went with so many different colors. And then a favorite of mine, the chemistry one where the glitter moves. And then I, I remember getting doubles and triples of this one, the love potion number nine kind of thing. Yeah, they didn't do this one again this year. That is why this video is a perfect example of why I buy doubles and triples of things. And then here, very quickly, is this year's options. I mean, off, just off the bat, you know, they're not, oops, they're not, things are, things are falling apart over here. They're just not not, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if you can just tell, but so far I just don't think that they, like this one's really nice. I love this one. I mean, they are great, and I, I love that I have them. We have, well, I do have this one. I went shopping at Dollar Tree and did a shop with me, and I wasn't sure if I had that one, but I do. And then the llama thing, which has been like a new thing for them. They are always doing llamas. They have the, these two are love. I love, love, love. So they are a huge favorite. They definitely didn't do that last year. Here, oh, I got two stuck. Some balloons. Ta -da. So I don't know, as quickly as I showed those to you, let me know if you like this year's or last year's better. So first one is this candy heart wreath. Yes, this is, I've done this on my channel. There's a whole tutorial video on it and it was Dollar Tree. Now you can see that one of the hearts popped off right here, but this has lasted so long. I don't even remember how old this is. And then I did a tool thing and then it's just so, so pretty. Love that one. Now, I don't know why, but I love, I love doing stuff with mason jars. So I've done this. I deconstructed a Dollar Tree headband that you would wear and added it to the mason jar. Obsessed with that. Here is this one, which has the, this is a bracelet. This was a bracelet and the Valentine's Day stuff. If it would focus, there we go. And all I did was add it. Didn't do any gluing, nothing fancy. These are perfect as gift, con gift containers too. Here's another old one. Thumbs up if you've been subscribed to me as long as you've seen some of these DIYs, cause that would be a long time. Here is that heart I was talking about. You can see I did a doily, some, yeah, this all has been tucked away in storage for a while. This one was another favorite of mine. So I think this, I might've done this one last year, but they had like a welcome sign for Valentine's Day. And I just took apart one of the letters as if like this could be like the teacher's name that starts with a C. So I realized that with the word welcome, uh, you'd have to find a letter that that works, but you could also just DIY the letter if you wanted to You know, you could use the back and paint it or paint over this and do whatever you need, but Yeah, so I loved that one. Oh, there's more. Here's this mason jar Super simple and pretty. I love that one too. You can see that this is the Dollar Tree jar I hot glued some pink roses in groups of three and then added the little pink heart to the center. I loved this one as well. And here's some more mason jars. This, how cute is this little tag? I think Dollar Tree did these little mason jar tags or did they not, or I'm not sure. And then I added a Dollar Tree heart sticker. I thought that was really cute. And then they had these red foamy like garland, which I have not seen this also this year. They've not put out this package of 
Red Hearts as garland. I cut it up and then tied it to the back of this mason jar. And some final DIYs that I want to share. Again, there's just so many that I've done, but these are so old that I just felt like they needed another shout out. <gasps> Who remembers when I did this one? I just wish that I would have painted the frame white. I think it would have just been a little extra. I'm not sure why I didn't, but this is all Dollar Tree. Ribbon, the hearts. I don't know. I feel like there should be words to describe how cute I think that is, but I can't seem to find them. Here's another one. Uh, again, with the black frame, uh, I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to paint them, but I did a gray scrapbook paper and then the hearts because I did like a gray theme for my daughter's room. So I think I used this there. And then this DIY, I loved doing this one. So they already had the shadow box with the with the clip here and i can't remember i'd have to look back at that diy but i think i added these i don't know what i did y'all but i did something or maybe i didn't do anything but either way i still love this piece and i won't ever get rid of it because it's just so good for a dollar all right so i think that that's it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this i just really felt like I constantly do hauls and not all of them have themes so sometimes you'll see one you know Valentine's Day item here and one here I just thought that it would be really great to just have one collective video so that you could see all of like my favorite things like I said earlier though there's so many good things I could have just showed everything because it really is all that great but that's it I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye